Liaison psychiatry is the psychiatry of physical illness. Physical illness they present in, in two ways. It's either the consequence, the emotional consequence of having a physical disorder or the uh, physical consequences of having an emotional disorder. Liaison psychiatry for the right person is remarkably intellectually stimulating because you have to be able to think simultaneously in several directions at once. You have to consider the organic manifestations of the physical condition. You have to consider the psychological effects and impacts. I'm going to quote uh, Dr. Claire Gerarda, who is the last but one president of the Royal College of General Practitioners. And she said that liaison psychiatrists were the only true general practitioners left because of our need to work within both physical and mental health. I work within a multidisciplinary team. It's a very experienced and, dare I say it, hand-picked team, and they are hand-picked. I can rely on them utterly. It's really good because you learn something from everyone. I'm getting the best of both worlds. That's what it was about. It was about bringing the mental and the physical health together and working in that grey area, that unknown, that excitement every day. You don't know what you're going to get. It, it's brilliant. We, we're quite a strong MDT. Like I said before, we've got a social worker on our team, nurses from various different backgrounds, including older adults, learning disabilities, adult acute substance misuse. And although we're a nursing profession as one, we're kind of an MDT within each other. Westmoreland's actually led this burgeoning uh, subspeciality, uh, and this came really from Birmingham, uh, where they developed the RAID model. My service here is probably the oldest service in the West Midlands, and many uh, liaison psychiatrists have been trained through here. The trainers, the consultants, I think as a rule, tend to be very supportive. So they get not just support from the trainer or the identified trainer, they get support from the, the whole multidisciplinary team, probably in a way that no other trainees do. You know, the GMC do an annual uh, trainee survey and psychiatry in the West Midlands always comes out well. And it has done again. Doctors coming in now please come and have a look at psychiatry because you'll be surprised how much it can offer you. I think that in order to be a liaison psychiatrist, you have to love medicine, medicine as a whole, regardless of which speciality. You have to be intellectually curious. You have to be pretty well read because you have to understand those interactions. I have access to my patients in a way that I don't think any other health profession has. It's a privilege to work with them and it's a privilege to work in liaison psychiatry.